her. Wait. Your sister? Winter! Winter! I'm so happy to see you! Oh, your presence honors us. Beacon. It's been a long time. The air feels different. I mean, it is fall, so... Yeah, it's probably colder. <gasps> so, what are you doing here? Classified. Oh, right. Well, how long are you staying? Classified. Of course. Well, this is nice. I think. You're going to love it here! I know you travel a lot, but so much of Beacon is different from Atlas! Veil, vale too. The government and school are completely separate. Can you believe it? I I'm more than familiar with how this kingdom handles its bureaucracy. That is not why I came. Right. I'm sorry. Nor did I come here to watch my own blood fail so miserably in battle. But it appears I have no choice in the matter. But we won! Only a novice would refer to that as a victory. I counted at least three strikes missed. Leave us. <sighs> How have you been? Oh, splendid! Thank you for asking. I'm actually in the very top ranking of our sparring class. The rest of my studies are going wonderfully, too. I'm... Silence, you boob! I don't recall asking about your ranking. I asked how you've been. Are you eating properly? Have you taken up any hobbies? Are you making new friends? Well, there's Ruby. <clears throat> Boo. I see. So this is the leader you wrote of. How appropriately... underwhelming. Ah, uh, thank you. Greetings, Ruby Rose. I wish to thank you for taking an interest in my sister. Oh, uh... Yes, of course. The honor is in my court. <laughs> I have business with the general and your headmaster. But seeing as I'm early, why don't you take me to your quarters? Really? Yes. I wish to inspect them and make sure they are up to my personal standards. Of course. Just so you're aware, the bunk beds only look unstable. Bunk beds? I'll catch up. Wait, uh, I mean, I will reconvene with you both at a later juncture. At a juncture, yeah. I'm talking to you, Ice Queen. Halt! Excuse me? Do you have any idea who you're talking to? Shh, shh, shh. Not you. Hey! You. Saw that gaudy ship of yours in town. I guess you're here too. I'm standing right before you. So it would seem. You realize you just destroyed Atlas military property. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. See, I mistook this for some sort of sentient garbage. I don't have time for your immature games, Crow. Wait, you two know each other? Jeez. You Atlas specialists think you're so special, don't you? It's in the title. Well, you know what you really are? A bunch of sellouts. Just like your boss. I'm not sure what you think you're implying, but I've heard enough. Oh, I heard too. I heard old Ironwood finally turned his back on Ozpin. Ozpin? Weiss, it's time for you to go. What? Listen to big sister, Weiss. She'll protect you. Just like Atlas is gonna protect all of us, huh? If you won't hold your tongue, then I will gladly remove it for you. All right, then. Come take it.
her. What do you think you're doing? He started the altercation, sir. That's actually not true. She attacked first. Is that right? And you. What are you doing here? I could be asking you the same thing. I... Now, now, everyone. There is a sanction fight happening just around the corner at the Coliseum that I can assure you has better seats and popcorn. Break it up, everyone. We will take care of this mess. Let's go. Courtyard. Yeah, I did. Catch you later, kid. And suddenly, your recklessness makes sense. You're just mad because he whooped butt. That was a draw at best. What were you thinking? If you were one of my men, I would have you shot. If I was one of your men, I'd shoot myself. While I wouldn't condone his behavior, retaliating like you did certainly didn't help the situation. He was drunk. He's always drunk. Uh, Crow, why are you here? You've been out of contact for weeks. You can't just go dark like that in the field. I'm not one of your special operatives, Jimmy. General. Whatever. You sent me to get intel on our enemy, and I'm telling you, our enemy is here. We know. Oh. Oh, you know. Well, thank goodness I'm out there risking my life to keep you all informed. Crow. Communication's a two-way street, pal. You see this? That's the send button. They had reason to assume you'd been compromised. And I have reason to assume you don't need to be here. Seriously. 
Who invited her? Schnee will discuss this incident back on my ship. But, sir... Winter, leave. Yes, sir. Go on. Your little infiltrator isn't just another pawn. They're the one responsible for Autumn's condition. What? Despite what the world thinks, we're not just teachers or generals or headmasters. The people in this room, the leaders of the other two academies, we're the ones that keep the world safe from the evils no one even knows about. It's why we meet behind closed doors, why we work in the shadows. So you tell me, James. When you brought your army to Vale, did you think you were being discreet, or did you just not give a damn? Discreet wasn't working. I'm here because this is what was necessary. You're here because Ozpin wanted you here. He made you a part of this inner circle and opened your eyes to the real fight that's in front of us. And I am grateful. Oh, well, you a real funny way of showing it. The people of Vale needed someone to protect them. Someone who would act. When they look to the sky and see my fleet, they feel safe. And our enemies will feel our strength. <laughs> you, you think they're scared of your little ships? I've been out there and I've seen the things she's made. And let me tell you, they are fear. And fear will bring the Grim. A guardian is a symbol of comfort, but an army is a symbol of conflict. There's an energy in the air now, a question in the back of everyone's minds. If this is the size of our defenses, what is it we're expecting to fight? So then, what would you suggest we do? I suggest we find our guardian. And you're sure? Bad hair, used a scythe, and smelled like my dad after a long day. It was him. What do we do? Nothing. We stay the course. They have no idea who we are, so we have no reason to worry. Besides, the last of the heavy lifting is being taken care of. Thanks to our clever little friend. Uh, speaking of which, it appears we have a new access point. Anywhere good? You could say that. Go to your rooms. I'll prepare everything for tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Got it. Let's give the crowd a good fight. The randomization process is complete! Ladies and gentlemen, your double tournament lineup!